Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO where last episode guys we added in all of the airplane services, well the majority of them anyway. We got the catering stuff over here, there's another one over here too. We got a couple of waste depots, we got the uh, kind of services for the ambulance, for the fire trucks and all that kind of stuff and the police cars. So now we can charge to clean the airplanes, we can also charge to kind of feed their airplanes by kind of giving the passengers meals on board. And we can act pretty much take care of some of the emergencies. So things are getting pretty much to the borderline to where we want it as an actual airport. I've just got to do all the little tiny bits like beautifying it and just make it a little bit more efficient as time goes on. Now we did reduce all the fees last episode as well, which means that the uh, my average airline satisfaction is a 93%. That is pretty damn good. My passenger satisfaction, it could be better. They're just kind of missing out on the kind of decoration level of inside of the terminals and stuff like that and of course shopping and food like cafes and shops I need to build as well security not doing too good I mean it's understandable I don't even have any baggage scanners in right now so guys if you are enjoying the series want to see more then make sure you smash the like button down below if you are new in here make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next episode does come out now first thing I want to do is I'm gonna actually do the baggage scanners I gotta implement them somehow and I feel like it's gonna be very very important for me to do so so what I'm gonna do is this one here if we can remember from last episode, I did this half side there for these three stands and the other half side for them stands over there. So I've got to split um, this here. I've got to turn this kind of corner piece into a tilt tray. So let me just get that up and running first and then we're going to try and build whatever we can, which is a tilt tray. That's a tilt tray there to get our baggage scanners all set up. So that's it. Throw that in just there. And just so we know where we're going with this. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Where are you? There you are, boy. We're going to go in that direction just there. So I need to basically create a bunch of um, baggage scanners. So they can scan the bags when they've kind of checked in. And if there's anything illegal in there, it kind of destroys it. Now, the question is, where do I implement this? I mean... I could do it pretty much close to it. I could do it way before. There's a bunch of different options and where we can kind of progress and add it in. Uh, I know I'm building like an underground car park here. I don't know whether to go down by one more level. If I did, then I haven't got to mess around with this level, meaning I'm kind of free to build down below. There's less obstacles kind of in the way. So if that was the case, then another thing I could do is funnel all of this kind of baggage stuff into one line and use the tilt to kind of like disperse it but i feel like that will kind of overload my systems so this is what i'm gonna do okay this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build a room just there i will build a room just here and they're probably a little bit too big but we're gonna roll with it anyway now this one going this way is gonna come all the way down because that one's gonna go in that direction I've also got to kind of destroy the inside of this slightly because that's kind of now in the way. So actually, you know what? We, we, well, I'll destroy that while we're here. Boom. Goodbye. So, yeah, another terminal section. So if that's going in this direction, I'll kind of place it. Actually, before I do that, it's got to go and connect all the way down to here, doesn't it? Right. I'm just going to place it round about there just for the funsies so just bear with me so this stuff here we won't even know we won't understand it exists or anything like that it is what it is so we're going to quickly pause for this a quick second and i'm going to delete up to there i'm going to delete you to here all right, let's go. Because so i've got to divide this up right now and build my little baggage scanner so this might kind of slightly throw off the actual um, airport at this moment. Oh, we've got to be in a secure area. Hold on. All right, secure. Secure. Oh, did that go secure? No. Secure. <laughs> and then the baggage scanner. So there's one more there we kind of got to destroy. Will they destroy it in time? Yes. So in reality, it's got to go in. I'm going to push that over slightly into that one and that one into there. 
then the baggage destroyer will then choose to destroy um, the baggage that has illegal objects inside. I'm pressing all the wrong rotate buttons right now. So that will go into there, that will go into there. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong rotate button. What's going on, boys? What's going on? So that would then go up to there, to here. That would go to there. That would go into here. So then that would go to there. That would go up. To there. That would go up. And then that one's done. That one is then done. So this one here, we should be able to go in pretty much in a straight line. So I know these, I've created these like underground buildings way too big, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We're not going to see it after this. And then we're pretty much good to go. So let that do what it's got to do. I've got the tilt tray there. So that kind of covers that one. That covers that one. Uh, and that one's that one. Yeah, we all, all set up then. So that's going to go in this direction. So I'll run this all the way down. Now I've got to pick a point where it comes in. Which this then becomes an illegal position because it has to go inside. But if I just build this real quick and kind of go in that direction, we'll sort the rest of it all out. We'll destroy that wall. Destroy that wall. And then we'll build our baggage stuffs right now. It's the wrong thing. Oh, secure zone. Can't forget the secure zone, boy. So, baggage scanner just there. Baggage destroyer. And then super high speed going in. Going all the way up. Turning that way, that way. And then I just need to get you connected going all the way down. And then I got to then bring this to... That's going down. Ah, to up there, which I've got to delete that one. So I know it's got to connect into here. So I'm going to bring that down to this way. Bring that down to there, and boom. So if I get this here deleted, because that's in the wrong position, and then I need to get that connected to over here as well. So in reality, where's my baggage conveyor? In reality, that will then go in down to there. So if I then, okay, so I need to then do a going down one, then a going up one. Which would be just there. And then have you connected like that. And then just add in the going up one just here. And then we should be connected to this. And have a baggage scanner in. And be rocking and rolling. So the bags go through. And then the ones that kind of get caught for illegal stuff get, get demolished. So that increases my uh, baggage security, so I should then start to see. There we go, the third one down, 100% at this point. 100% of all bags going through right now are being scanned. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, that's all on the way. That does exactly what I needed to do. No problema. So you all connected to there, so I can now technically turn these all on. So if I turn this on, which... Do I need, do, would I need six? I don't think I need six. Because it's only three stands at this point. This one only, oh, this one has six. <clears throat> oh, I'll put it to four. I'll put it to four. This one's got four as well. So there, that's all on. All I now got to do is connect up the taxiway path for these boys. And I believe we're good to go. The check-in's all upstairs. Everything's all ready to rock and roll. These desks, what's wrong with these desks? Uh, it can't find the connection to there. Are we missing something? Because we have a tilt tray in. There's no break in this. Oh, okay, yeah, there is. I forgot to do one more bit. Boom. There we go. And then, sweet, mate. We're all good. We're all good. So that will then sort this out. <laughs> Even though they're now checking in and they can't drop any bags in because I haven't got it fully connected. But that will get done anyway. It stopped moaning. Now we've got the kind of the provisional conveyor all placed in. 
So this is all done. This is all back to normal. We're all rocking and rolling. No stress. Uh, good stuff. We're going to be making even more money than ever before, which means more passengers coming in than ever before, which is going to be very interesting. So do you reckon then we should take a look at doing some information desks? So can you do information desks or is it just me? Yeah, information desk, medium. Uh, actually, let me check if there's anything to research. We've done the, the group. Oh, we reduced the project time, satisfaction boost, staff productivity. I need to hire. I need this is where I need to build all my offices. But let me see what else I can get done right now. So, baggage security. Ooh, okay. Let's get level. Let's get tier two done of that. Maybe I should have got that done before I did start doing all this building of things. <laughs> and I'm going to get group project free done as well. Now, I think it will be wise, because of how big these are, to hire more administrators. So, administrators, hire a bunch more. Uh, R&D projects. So, minimum five, minimum four. And then, reduce product time to passenger satisfaction boost to, and then, oh, why can't I get reduce repair costs, increase construction speed. Oh, start productivity marketing. Now we do passenger satisfaction. So you can only choose two from each one. Interesting. So this will be good for now, this reduced project time. But eventually, we'll switch on to something else. Okay, that's all the administrators I've got right now. So we'll leave it like that and just kind of see what happens. Uh, anyway, yeah, let me build the uh, information desks. So, in reality, I could probably place it, like, on the very end here, couldn't I? I am going to re remove this um, toilet and build it somewhere else. Or do I place it kind of facing it? So, if I did it like this, on that wall instead. All right, boom, there. So, I can't place one there, but I, I eventually will. And I'll do it there. Hmm. I feel like I, I should pull it in this little section and kind of start to build all of this. I think that will be slightly better, right? Uh, it does then mean I gotta kind of get rid of the the zoning for it, which is not a problem. Um, and I have to finish doing that uh, wall as well, aren't I? Yeah. Right, okay, let's do it. Right, walls. So that would run straight up and it would run in line with there. Uh, meaning that now I can then get rid of the secure area. So that should get rid of all that zone in. Alright, let's go right across with this. Actually, I'll go to there in case I, there is zoning for the escalator. I don't want to really want to get rid of that. There we go. So I've got one in there. I'll leave it like that. I want a bunch of information desks because I feel like it would be pretty handy to have all of this. Oh, I could build the restrooms here, couldn't I, instead? I could do a male and a female. So I'll have that just there then. I mean, there's plenty dotted around. There's plenty dotted around anyway. So yeah, we'll move the restrooms over to here. So if I kind of build a a makeshift wall to begin with. So if I went across there and across there. Male restroom, female restroom. There we go. I wonder if we... Would it work if I built stores before they go through all this? That would also be kind of interesting to find out. Um, right, okay. Uh, do I need to... Buy more vehicle? I don't know. I can't remember. We'll see if we start missing anything. I know we need more staff, janitors. Oh, ramp agents. Yeah, because I got the extra stuff in. So applicants, ramp agents. Where are you? There you are. Hire a bunch more. Now, the other one that I'm missing out on is janitors. It always seems to be janitors. So I'm not going to stress about it too much right now. So now I've got these in. Who works in here then? You're a passenger. Oh, okay. Do you reckon I need more passenger service agents at this point if I'm getting all these information desks down? I'll hire a bunch more. You just never, like I said, you just never know. 
I'd rather have too many than not enough. So information desk then, so people can walk up, get some information, off they skedaddle. So this is the start of me slowly implementing everything that's needed to um, to get things all set up. So I know then that this is a free either side, so a free... Oh, hold on. Is that wall longer? Oh, I've done that wall longer, haven't I? And I kind of like the idea of the wall being longer. But the question is, how much longer? Too longer. Okay. I say too longer, and I've gone ahead and done three longer there. <laughs> right, let me get this in. I've got to get the remainder of the staircases all in. Now, remember when we researched the automation? The other side of the automation that we haven't dealt with just yet, you know, because we did the automatic passport gates and all that, automatic, automatic check-in, like, of these desks and baggy drop-off areas, that's something else that we can eventually add in, which sounds quite exciting, doesn't it? So, with that said, then, this now going up is one either side. So, one there. And then one either side, one there. There we go. And there we go, boys. So I could do another doorway here. I could definitely do one there as well. But we'll hold out. No, actually, we'll do it now. Yeah, get it all in. Get all the doors in, boys. So doors, large. That's four. That's four. Boom. Now this one, I need to run it down parallel to there. Boom. Right, we've got the doors in, mate. We've got the doors in. Escalator's in as well, so it goes up, and then we're going to eventually have to... Do I have it all zoned out, right? So it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yikes. 1, 2... I mean, I could base it off... Can I base it off this? It hangs over by 1, but then that hangs over by 2. Okay, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm thinking it's going to be there. So that then is a 34 by 40. So 34 by 40. Now this should clone. Actually, before I do, let me just double check one more time. That's a 10 by 10. Yeah. Okay, perfectly placed. So copy and paste mode. And yeah, oh, that fits perfect. So an extra eight security um, stuffs added in. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to need so many more security guards, so let's hire them. We're just going to need it because obviously the more and more planes and stuff that we get in, the more and more kind of logistics we need behind getting the passenger from the main entrance to the main entrance of the plane. So we've got to get more and more of this stuff added in. Now, don't get interested. I've still got so many more stands to add in. i got to build all this with the small and medium stuff. And that it will be a lot of planes coming at very random times. So, it'll be very interesting. Right, this is going good then. So, yeah, I've got this all set up. I, I should probably place in a door so the workers can get in and out. Do I do a big boy door? Or one of these? Let's do you and you. So, doors to get in either side. That should work out really well. Right, exciting stuff. <laughs> exciting stuff. So we got these three stands all up and running. Um, oh, do I need more ramp agents? Yes, we don't have enough. Okay, while, I'm, while I've got the uh, applicants, I'll hire all these security officers. Ramp agents. So hired a bunch more ramp agents right now. Still need more security officers. So I'll just wait for more to come in. Oh, damn. Need more staff, boys. Oh, wait. They can't get there. That's the issue. Right. I'm going to do what I did before. Not be able to do before. What I should have done in the first place. And that was hook this up as a secure area for now. Until we know what we're doing with it. So my ramp agents haven't got to do what I've done over here. And create this. Which I'm thinking. I'm going to delete it now. Because they can. 
walk down here and get to it. I mean, granted, they've got to go through security. They've got to go up to... Hang on, which one is it there? There, hang on. They've got to go down to go back up, which is really weird. But they can get there. They can get there. Just give them some time. <laughs> right, do I need any more? Yeah, I need so many more ramp agents. So, ramp agents. Hi, uh... There we go. Look, there's one walking down right now. So, they can get there, guys. They can get there. I feel like I'm so behind right now. I've added in so much stuff and then neglected the staff situation. So, they're making their way over. All good. And these guys are making their way over there. That's what I should have done in the first place. But, I'm just stupid, okay, guys? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. So, more ramp agents needed by the looks of it. Can't believe how many we're out by. Security officers. I mean, definitely need Lola's security officers because doesn't like each one need like four or five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and I've added in eight. So, eight times five, 40. That's how many more I need. Yikes. Well, I feel like we're, we're, we're pretty much there. So. That's all good. That will filter more people through the airport. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Down there, running down all of this. Pretty cool to see. Um, so we don't we don't really know if this baggage claim area is really working that well. Because we haven't really had any baggage claim coming back. Because I've had no ramp agents for ages. Yikes. Right. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So how are we doing with our little kind of R&D projects? We've done both the group project free, which would be this, I assume. But nothing's really coming up. Oh, can I only do like so many at a time or something like that? Uh, oh, no, it's the... Oh, sorry, it's to run this, not this. I'm thinking it was that. Oh, baggage security also done. So we'll get tier three on the way as well. And get in the six minimum needed. So, there's a minimum of six needed. There we go. And can I just get like a little kind of smaller one? Oh, it's the pro... What's structural engineering, by the way? Oh, concrete stuff. Okay. Uh, get the program group free stuff right now. Oh, I need two more. Well, I'll take one off... No, I don't want to get rid of them. Because they're pretty good for us. Uh, get rid of two there. Add it in there. So, even though I just researched the baggage stuff level two, which is... Oh, damn. This is different baggage scanning stuff. I won't add this in. Just yet. Until we've done the tier 3. In case I add that in, then I've got to delete it to add something else in. But that's kind of crazy, isn't it? That really is. Right, is that baggage reclaim area working? Yes, the bags are now coming through. So now this area is pretty much all good to go. People from here, obviously, go through... The passport automation gates there. They then go down here, which leads them to go down again, and then claim their baggage from this side. Oh, it's all coming together, guys. It's all slowly coming together. Right, let's add some chairs in this side, by the way. So I'm going to claim or clone, I should more say, all of them. Is that center? Three. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's about there, right? Hold on. One, two, three. How have I done this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, yeah, there. So then that would be here. And we've got our chairs all in for that side. Glorious. Okay, sweet, mate, sweet. So, let's take a look at it, doing the car park stuff. Building the big underground car park. Now, I'm thinking, we need the normal asphalt public roads. I'm thinking, I bring it out to there. And we then instantly turn it. So I can go down another level where we got more... Sp I can build car parks down here, right? Yes. So I make him go down there instead. So... It just gives me a little bit more space on that next level down to add in the car park situation. 
But it really does mean I've got to create a system to funnel them up to get into here. So I've got to figure this one out now. Now I know I've got more space in this gap there. I could do an up and down on the escalators, which would lead me to here and down again. How much, how big are they first? I could also do elevators. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> Damn, I think I'm allergic to escalators. <laughs> so I can put them there and it'll give us plenty of space, plenty of room. But is that where I want them? Unless I did it over here. Like in the center. Uh, or I can save it to up here. I can add it in there. I could build a separate section here that kind of funnels everybody up. Do you reckon that would be better? I could do it over here. Have a double section where it goes down. Yeah, I could, I could probably do it there. So, let me figure this one out then. Now, I'm probably going to need multiple sides. So, I'll probably build one here. And then do one there. So, we can get it from both sides. Okay, this is going to be interesting because I've now got to get it going through multiple floors. But to get it going through multiple floors... One, two, three. One, two, three. I've got to do something like this. So, if I did that... And then did that. That's my system there on that side. So that is a, a free wide. So I can pretty much do a free wide here. We're drinking that's going to be too close to the road. Um, but I'm going to need it, ain't I? So... Alright, if I did that one... Oh, this is a tough decision to make. So, how have I done that? I've done that one to... I mean by a five, haven't I? So, we did that by five, which would be like this. Which, that would be to there. And then that would be to there. So, I now understand where these two sections are. Bit awkward and weird. But it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't now be a problem. So what I need to do then is I need to then figure out the best way to build these car parks. Because I've got to build a car park. I've also got to build the sidewalk to get over to them. So very interesting, boys. Very interesting right now. So... Right, I'm trying to figure out the best way to kind of implement all this. So if I did sidewalk first, going around the ring of all of that, by one square. This is just like what a real underground car park would be like, wouldn't it? Like that. So I've got my border going around like this. I'll do with the public road. We'll do a double road going around it. Which we'll hook that straight into. Do the same here. And then we'll build our car parks coming off all this. Because we've got to do crossroads as well on these roads. So, you know, we can get people to and from it. So I'll bring that one straight down to there. They will connect. They will connect. But we'll do that intertwined <laughs> with all the car park road. So, car parking then. Um, see, it kind of fits in perfect like this. So if I did, hmm, did you there, oh, let me pause, you there, you there, bam, bam, ooh, that would have been so good if it fit in. 
<laughs> that would have been so good if it fit in. But obviously, it's not going to. All right, bam. Bam. Actually, we'll cancel that one. So then the public road. So they're not going to kind of join perfectly. I'll bring you to there. Road down. Road down. We'll do the crossroads because they can walk through uh, the individual car parks. That's something that we've kind of learned before in the past. So I do need to get this connected. So I'm thinking it's the best way to do it just like this. Uh, no, that is not the best way. We actually want it to be connected, but I wonder if I can actually throw in a car park first. So I could do... So I could do a car park right there. I can keep it... I can, to be honest with you, I can kind of leave that bit open. Do that there. Do a two there. Bam. Bam. I wonder if I did it like this. Yeah, well, you kind of use this kind of... I want to create the little split in the middle. And then... If... Went with... One on the very end. So I know there's big gaps, but we can fill all that in with walkway. So, just following the road round. The only reason it's so out of shape and so awkward is because obviously... It's based on how these were placed down. Now I think here, what I should do is that. Just kind of get it connected. We can fill in all these little gaps and nooks and crannies. It's not an issue. That's to there. So we are connected in many ways. Maybe we should do it a bit closer. Nah, it, it will be fine, wouldn't it? It will be completely fine. And then that there, like that. Yeah, I think that would work. Well, I'll put it into play mode because I'm, I'm going to have to... Just to get the, the freaking sidewalks in is going to be ridiculously difficult. So get all these in. And all the little gaps. Because like I said, it's an underground car park. Right, I wonder if I can... Oh, it only gives us a one gap, doesn't it? Well, that's fine. We'll fill it all with sidewalk anyway. There we go. And we'll add in a few more as well. Might as well just kind of go the whole hog. Oh, it's a shame you can't get that in just there. Right, okay. So I'm going to add one there, one there. One there. And then... Public road... To there. Sidewalk. Fill it all in. It shall work. It shall work. Public road. I then just got to add in all my sidewalks. So, medium. One there. One there. There and there. So we'll try and do it. And these little T junctions, like four way crossovers. And try and do it as much as we can to make it as walkable as possible. I'll do that one just there because of how the, the road kind of falls. So one there, there, and there. Throw that one there, that one there. Good man, they, they can walk through this, across there, onto that. As long as they can attach themselves to another car park, they'll get from point A to point B. Right, 
there. And then we'll go straight to there. There's definitely room to kind of play around and add more in. Like going around this side, but we'll hold out just for now. So that will go there. The tunnel stops there. I'll add one in there if it allows me to. So, yeah, that's as connected as I can potentially make it. And there's people actually coming down right now, and I don't even have any escalators or anything kind of built in. Guys, you need to calm down. I'm not ready for you yet. <laughs> I'm not ready for you yet. So, let's figure out then how we're doing the, the escalators and the lifts and all that kind of jazz. So, get rid of that. We're fine just there. So, in uh, terminal, uh, escalator. So, when we place it in, it's going up a level. So, I need this. I would need this if I go back up. In reality, to maybe... I mean, it's kind of got to go sideways with this one. Um, probably best to do it like this, right? I mean, if I did that, it comes down like this. Not the best. How big is the, the lifts? One... Okay, so if I did one, two. Oh, wait, can you not? Oh, hold on. How do I cancel the delete? Oh, damn it. How, how do these lifts work? Seriously. Is it only one floor they go up by? Alright, if I went there, there. Can I not go up another floor? Is that is that how it works? Hmm. If I, if I then do a... Escalator there. Which will come up to here. Oh no, I can't do that. No, pause. pause. Sorry. Oh, I've already messed myself up. Can't do it there. I've got to do it. In a spiral going round. My concern was, is what side do I put it on? So if I went there, it comes up to there. They walk up to that one, goes to there. So I need to pull it on. I think it needs to be on this side. So if I went there, and then went there, they then pop up there. But my question was, can I not do multiple levels with these lifts? Oh, extend elevator. You can. You gotta click on them. Okay. Look at everyone's fuming right now because they can't get anywhere. Right, that hurt my brain. Not even gonna lie to you right now. That really hurt my brain. So if I go for a nice big wide double entrance just there, then a smaller one. Um, yeah, we we'll go for a two there and there, and then the terminal wall. Right, that's where you normally have like pay machines, wouldn't it? Like that. So they can now all cross. You can see they can they can cross over. They can hit the lifts because at the minute I think the lifts only one's built. Okay, maybe not. They're all pretty much in. But they come up here. So they up there through here. Oh, I should have spanned that one round. Right, delete you. I should have spanned it round because then I can do a wall cut off, couldn't I? Right, we figured it out in the end. I don't know why that hurt my brain so much. I don't know why. So that will go this way around. Right? Yeah. Right, today please. I mean, they're probably all going to use the elevators because that looks like it's the quickest route at the minute. So that would go there. Meaning my terminal wall. I could cut straight across. I don't know why. We, I mean, we could do a second level of car parking. 
but you kind of have to add it in anyway. And that pops up to there. But I can just design something nice around here. It doesn't really matter. So that gets them directly down. At the minute, it's the only way to kind of get from here up to the top. And all this needs to be turned into our long... Because it's all short term at the moment. So if I set it all to long term... Can I... Can you select multiple? Oh, you can. Oh. Long term. Yes. Right, this all on the ground stuff is my long term car parking. My short term is the floor above. Well, up here at the moment. That's my short term. Right, we're getting somewhere, boys. So I don't know why we got elevators that enter here. I think we just have to have it in to go up so many floors. It just it is what it is, okay, guys. There's not really much I can do about that. So then I need to do this. Right? So if I build the lifts, one there and there, then if I get my this just right what's going on there so if that was there the escalator should go on this bottom side there meaning then on this floor I flip it round and it pops up then just there which I need to wall it off So I wall that off just there. But what I'll do is walls I'll bring to here, which is four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Yeah. So you get a little entryway. And we'll put a small door there. So kind of turn it into a room. So, you know, you kind of have a feeling for how it all then works. So you can exit there and then both them sides there. As soon as I did it on the other one, which I'm not really a fan of doing that wall there, but it's going to go there. And then these extend to that floor, extend to... Oh, no, 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 this floor. And then this, kind of do that. And then the doors situation... And then the smaller ones, bam, and bam. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Yeah, I can't do a door there. <laughs> I forgot about <laughs> I forgot about them. But what I can do then is a small door here. Which I wait for these to be deleted. Okay, I've just gotta change the size of the doors up. Right, that one goes there. And then the wall goes across here. Alright. Put this door here. Because by enclosing it, it feels like an actual room. Which is what I should do over here as well. So bringing that straight down. But we can definitely put some larger doors on this one. So I'll start with a door system just there. And I'll do one there. Like directly opposite the, um, the escalator. Just for the sake of it. We will wall that off as well. So it kind of fits with all in the theme. Then I have this underground car park. I have this beautiful underground car park, which is quite dark down here. I do need to add some lights. Uh, to which everybody is able to get from point A to point B. Uh, which one they use on which side all depends on what they find the most useful. Once I get these desks here connected to something, you'll probably see the people long term in will come up from this one. It's only because these ones are here are closer to that one that you probably find that they're using this more. But my shock is the the elevators. I didn't realize how quick and how much more they were pretty much going to prefer using those. That's food for four. That really is. Now, if I was to add some lights in, can you add lights on the... Yes, you can. 
So lights, and what's the best one? These? Yeah, why not? Just add a few of these bad boys in. It won't be a lot. It'll just be kind of in the important walkable areas. There we go. I do some coming down here. We can just see what it's like. Okay, it definitely adds in a little bit more brightness in. It's not a lot, but uh, is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, boys. But I like it though. I like how it's now all coming together. So these improvements are a lot better. Uh, my baggage, well, security rating did kind of went green slightly there, but it's back to orange. But I suppose once I add in the additional kind of security levels, we kind of be a okay. But yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby right now. So, with that all, oh, we've done the baggage stuff, by the way. So the additional baggage stuff then is a scanning station used for manual scanning by a security officer in search of particular suspicious contents. Make sure a productive security officer is manning. Right, okay, so. Ah, okay, so it's just that extra added level, isn't it? Jeez, there's just going to be so much stuff you've got to add to it, isn't there? There's so much stuff you're going to have to add to something like this. It's five in a row. So, one, two, oh my god, it's me. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. That is actually the perfect length, believe it or not. Because the sixth one is this dude here, chilling. But then you gotta get someone to be able to walk down there, and that becomes even more of a headache. Oh, maybe that's why I can kind of use that to kind of go out and then connect that. And then. Okay, it's not all wasted. It's not all wasted. But that's a headache for another day. That's a headache for another day right now. I don't wanna get caught up in all that. I really don't. Not at the moment, anyway. But um, yeah, so information desks, pretty cool. Got these underground car parks now all set up. So we should start to see some decent. I wouldn't say decent revenue. But the revenue should start now increasing, especially for the long term. Oh, this is on hourly, isn't it? And we put it on daily. So on the previous day, we made 23 grand in long term parking. But that's the first day we ever had it. Uh, so it would be high. But then again, it's only 3 a.m. in the morning and we've already done five grand. <laughs> okay, maybe parking's pretty good then. Maybe parking's going to be pretty good. Okay, 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 okay. So I wasn't going to get the restrooms in right now, but I think I'm not going to. I think what I want to do is to implement a store first. I think that would be ideal, implementing a store. So once they walk through here, I'm thinking I'm going to kind of zone in this section right now. Uh, not a staff room, sorry. Do I do a... Yeah, let's do a, a store first. So where would that fall under? Shops, shop room, and just literally cover it like that. And then this one here, I do the cafe. And then I'll reposition that to fill within the gaps. So I can just quickly, easy copy and clone. And I'm forcing them to work, uh, walk through it. Going up and upstairs and downstairs. Because obviously upstairs, we got all the seats. Downstairs would be like this. So if this is my franchisee uh, room for the store... I think what we'll do is we'll kind of... What's the distance between there and there? 300. Uh, 150 is there. So I take it that's 150 as well. Yeah. So we have a double central middle wall that I'm going to do that with. So I know that's my center point to this whole store. Then within the shops, we'll get our shop counter... Now I've always got to make sure that I get this the right way around. Um, yeah, it goes like this. So if I added in... One, it's a four by a four. So if I went bam and bam, bam and bam, 
that's our center section just there for the store. We'll add in some of the big boy stuff. Actually, let me do all the wall stuff first. So which is the wall shelf? Uh, basic, nice, wall mounted. That's what I want. No, 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 no. Cancel that one. Well, let me pause it right now. Because things are going to get messy if I don't. So the wall mounted going around the whole wall section here. Do the same on this side. There we go. Uh, then we'll do this kind of large stuff next. So do six there. Can't even mess that one up. Boom. Then I do an. Uh, did it, was it a two gap? No, it's a one gap. Uh, nah, 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 nah. And then these round ones. I'll put either end. This is actually going to be quite a big, decent store, isn't it? And I should be able to clone it and copy it very, very easily. So then all I'm missing there, we got that one in. The little pedestals. We'll do like that. There. It's quite tedious, isn't it, building a store like this? And done the wall mounted. These nice ones. Ah, so these. I'll put one on the end there. One in the end. They're like go against the wall. And then we have the basic. Are these the basic squares? Yeah, basic platform ones there. So do one there and there. And leave it like that. So get them building this. There's a lot to throw into this. But the way it's set up, I can then duplicate that one and put it here. I'll then build a cafe next episode and delete this in that whole square there. Clone it then to go over there. I could utilize them for this too, but I don't know yet. I don't know. Uh, I'll rearrange the restroom. So I might build like a little one just there. Or utilize this dead end corner there as the restroom. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm forcing them to wa uh, walk through uh, this. The store. Thus making us, or making them more likely to buy something, maybe. Is that probably the reason I'm doing it? So, let me just then get the, not food room, where's shop room, all up and running. To this side, so I can clone it. What are we missing? We're missing an item or two right now. So, wait for him to build that last bit. Which, here he comes. And then I should be able to clone. It's cloning the, uh, <laughs> the escalators as well, which is hilarious. Which only really builds what I need to build. So I then should be able to sign a contract. Pick and fly, you reckon they'll, they'll pay out? Rent's pretty decent. Pick and fly. 44% air, airport cut. Yeah. Let's sign on the dotted line. So, in reality, only people going in this terminal can really shop there. That's the reality of it. So, that may be what kind of thing. Like, you know, would it be good to add one there? Or, do you know about before they... I could build a whole store here that they have to walk through? That could be interesting as well. That could be real interesting. So that one's all in. 
I gotta wait for this one to be all complete before we can sign it. So you won't see them. Them. Oh, they're, they're arriving there. Yeah, boy. So now they can do some duty-free shopping. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. You'll earn more money on the food side of it. But a nice little kind of additional thing for the customers. And the way we got it set up too is the people arriving have to go through it. The people leaving also have to go through it. So we've set up pretty well for this. So try and get another four star here. Victoria's Secret. Hold on. <laughs> that underwear store? Oh, it's got... Oh, did it disappear? I think it's like clicked off it, right? Yeah, but I need another five star, uh, four star one. Um, paper news, forty-eight percent cut. We'll take that as well. We'll take that as well. So that's another one added in. So these guys need two hundred and fifty-five sales. They've already done sixteen, making six grand. That's not too bad. That ain't too shabby. So we'll see how that continues with the rest of it. Oh, that's really good, to be honest with you. I'm kind of impressed by that. So now we've got the long-term car park stay in down here. They're not using the short stay as much. And this is my argument before. When you get the large aircraft, they're going more long haul. So they ain't going for a quick business trip. So they are more inclined to use the long stay. Whereas the medium and small aircraft are more likely to be a short-term trip meaning they only need short-term stay for their vehicles so even this is getting quite full i might have to i mean i got a definitely i've got loads of room to extend and expand it anyway um so again we'll just see how it goes we'll see how it goes so the store over here is now all up and running they need 250 sales as well they made two grand already so as we get more and more passengers throughout the day They'll be buying stuff. They've done 21 sales. They're already 10% of their way within the first few hours of even being here. So passenger satisfaction. It's not the best stores at the moment. But I've gone from 0 to 38% on the shopping satisfaction. So that will kind of fluctuate anyway. I've got to get more in multiple areas. To kind of give them all their needs. These guys up here, to be honest with you, these guys here, because it's not double-sided, so this side I could do the restrooms and the stores and the uh, all that kind of stuff anyway, only because it's not pretty much double-sided. So we can get away with that, thus meaning all this here becomes office space or something else. I don't really know just yet. But I think add in, I think here I could do half and half, a store and a little cafe, because that would catch the people who are not going through the international zone area. And if they walk past these, they got a second chance to buy and eat something. <laughs> oh, today's sales. Oh, sorry. They need 255 a day? Yeah, they're not re uh, reaching... They're not reaching their sales targets. I think it's more because it's for one terminal. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it for here. Next episode, then, we'll take a look at building the cafes as well, getting all that up and running. And we'll start to make some plans on how we're going to build this area over here for the medium and small aircraft as well. We'll kind of start making plans for all of that. I really wish you could buy more land. Because I would buy so much more and just make it even bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But yeah, these underground car parks, amazing. Revenue-wise, when you look at it and you break it down, the previous day, 50 grand oh hold on let me drop my income 52 grand on the previous day just on parking alone <sighs> that's pretty good that's pretty good that's pretty good guys so we're gonna end it for here i hope you did enjoy this episode if you did smash that like button down below until next time i see you all soon so yeah. <laughs>